Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so overwhelmed seeing all the messages that you have sent me in last one year asking when am I back with my videos. Uh, so I was on a maternity break but now I'm back so you will see many more videos in upcoming days and months. So without any further ado, let's begin. Today's video is going to be different because I'm going to not teach you any particular trick but I'm going to show you how you can create your template slide in a more effective and interesting manner. So we are going to learn three different templates, three different tricks and three different ways in which you can create your title slide. So let's begin. This is our first template. We are going to use this particular template. We'll change the title and the uh, picture accordingly. This is a second template that we are going to create with the picture in the background and a transparency layer. And this is our third template where we are going to use this wow trick which I have taught earlier as well where you can actually put what, one picture into different shapes. So let's begin. So the first one. This is the title that I've taken which is Adverse Effects of COVID on Travel and Aviation Industry. So I'm going to keep this title on one side while I try to recreate this. So we are going to use this trick called intersect for this where you can actually trace any shape and insert your picture into that particular shape. So I'm going to make shape fill zero and let's keep a brighter outline so that you can trace it. Right click and edit points. So edit point is a tool that lets you customize and create your own shapes. In case you want to know more about it, there's a video that I have made on edit points particularly. So you can go through that. I'll uh, put that in the description box. I'm going to add one point over here. Okay, once we have traced this shape, I am going to put it on a new slide like this. Now get the picture that you want to insert into this shape. So I'm going to my picture folder and I want to insert, let's say, this image over here. Set your image. I'm going to send the image to back so that you can see what part of the picture do you want. I'm going to do this. Zoom out a little so that I can fix the image. Perfect. Now, once you have your picture and your shape sorted, click on the picture, press control and click on the shape. Make sure that you click on the picture first and then shape. Once you have both the elements selected, go to shape format, merge shapes and intersect. And look at this. Suddenly we have our own picture inserted into the shape that we wanted. Now I'm going to make sure that we use some impactful text over here. Change the text type. If you want to give it a different color, I'm going to use eyedropper to pick the color of the chairs. If you want to learn more about eyedropper, there's an entire video that I have made. You can go through that. I'm going to link that video in the description box. If you want to add more elements to it, you can always do that. I'm going to add a couple of lines here to make it more impactful. I'm going to use eyedropper to pick the color from here. Make the outline thicker. Let's do it. Let's make it further thicker. I'm going to go here and make the width 8. I'm going to copy this and put it here as well. I'm going to change the font and fix the text. You can use a different color for the second row as well. Just play around a little with the font type, with uppercase, lowercase, with boldness, thickness, all of that. And once you are happy with it, that becomes your title slide. So, so this is my first template for the title slide. Now let's try the second one, which is this particular template. So for this, we need to put a picture in the background like this one. So I'm going to go to my folder and choose, let's say, this image. This is my image and now we need a transparency layer like this one. So I'm going to insert a box on top of the entire slide. 
you can decide what color do you want to go ahead with i'm giving it a blue gray color and and no color for the outline now to make this box transparent see the format shape option you need to right click and do format shape you will have this right side menu open and there's a transparency bar just move the bar along so decide the level of transparency you want i only want it to be this much transparent not much this is perfect and i'm going to copy this text from here paste it on top of this make the text box white so you can always change the font type if you see the previous title slide design that i made i had limited space to place my title right in this case i have bigger canvas so i can always uh, choose a different font i'm going to use this font center aligned if you want to decrease the transparency you can do that i'm going to draw a line at the bottom and keep the same line on top as well now i'm going to make sure that my text is center line as as far as the slide is concerned so i'm going to choose the center if you want to go through the alignment feature uh, in detail you can go through my video i'm going to put that in the description box as well now this is my second template for the title slide very simple but effective so you can see the picture in the background but your text is still the hero if you want to further decrease the transparency you can do that like look at this so that's your second option now let's get to the last and the third template for title slide this is very very interesting and uh, it's one of the wow tricks that we generally teach when it comes to shapes so let me show you how to create this so first and foremost i'm going to keep a blank slide over here and now we are going to trace these shapes these boxes so i'm going to take this diamond shape which is a pre-built shape in powerpoint and just trace the pattern two three once these three the three shapes are aligned i'm going to copy them this is my second thing and then this is my third row and the last box now once i have all these boxes done i'm going to select them all and put it on a new slide like this now in order to group them you can either right click and click on group or you can use the shortcut called Control g so Control g is a shortcut that you can use to group multiple items together once this is done all you need to do is right click format shape and you will see the option of picture or texture fill click on that go to insert choose the picture that you want to insert so i'm going to insert this picture over here select and look at this voila it's done i want to get rid of the shape outline so i'm going to choose no outline and now you can place your text over here you can change the colors you can pick the colors from the picture itself using eyedropper so i'm going to take this black color and for the bottom line i'm going to use this the red suitcase color look at this this is your third option you can change the font type if you don't like it but i think these are very very simple but so effective ways of creating beautifully looking title slides so let's just do away with boring plain title slides and use these interesting ones so i hope that you enjoyed my video if you did do leave me a comment do share this video with other friends or colleagues who work on powerpoint and i'll see you very very soon thank you